Okay, so remember residuals are y minus y hat. So if we have uh, a line, there's your y hat line. Okay, remember that? That's y hat. And these are all y's. Now, we want the line to overpredict as much as it underpredicts. So when I talked about residuals, um, we don't want, we want to, uh, that's what these are, these are the residuals, that's the distance from one of these to, to, to there, okay, from one of the predicted, uh, from the actual line, I'm sorry, to the predicted line. So we, those are called residuals, or E, E for, of course, error, right? Now, if we were to plot these out, and let's do that now, so if we were to make a little plot, we would uh, graph the residuals and like this. We'd make what's called a residual plot. We'd have zero here, and then along here is the x value. Okay, let's change the color so you can tell. Go to red here. We want something like this. That's what we want. That shows us that we're overpredicting as much as we're underpredicting. Okay. However, now let's just do that with something like this. Let's do another residual plot. Nice big one here, we can see it better. And we'll use red again. What if we had something like this? It's probably a curve, right? It's probably a curve. What if we had something that looked like this? Let's use red again. Let's become our standard. It looks good. Whoops, that's sorry, ignore the line there. I slid my stylus. Ooh, look at it it starts to the errors get bigger as time goes by. We shouldn't have that. It should be the case that it doesn't matter what size uh, the x value is, because remember along that's the x variable along the x-axis. And this is showing us that as x gets bigger, the prediction errors get bigger. That's no good, too. What we want is something that looks more. Let's just put some more dots in so we end up with something good here. What we want is something where there's no relationship between x and e, or, as I said in the recorded lecture, the covariance of x and e should equal something close to zero. It's never going to actually equal zero, something close to zero. Okay? Hope that clears anything up that wasn't clear.